Adams. This is River City Live. Marriage week is upon us, and that actually leads us right into Valentine's Day. And we all know that I am the gangster of love. Never been called that. But (laughs) I'm here with relationship expert Mary Whitman Ortiz. And we were talking about how being quarantined and even being able to get out has definitely changed how people deal with their relationships or don't deal. But you got some tips on how married couples can stay plugged into each other and hopefully keep the boat afloat. Right, right. Yeah, it's, I just want to give a reminder of some best practices because when we're bombarded every day with news, we can forget some of these really important ideas. I mean, they're probably cores of your commitment, but um, other things can get in the way. So I thought it would be great to get a refresher on those. I would concur. So your first tip is be intentional. Exactly what does that mean? This means you're going to give some things thought. Now, it's great when couples connect spontaneously, but anything that is worth value is worth planning. So you're going to intentionally um, do some random acts of kindness, and you're going to ask for your spouse's input and not just assume that you know what they're thinking. They really are valued when you ask for that. And then plan for some getaway moments. Now, this might not be that big trip that you thought was going to happen this year, but special ways to do coffee, little everyday ways, just to kind of put a spin on it so that you're really being there for each other. You mentioned something about acknowledging small steps, which is really very big because most of the times we're thinking, I want this big grandiose gesture or whatever, but you said something about doing random acts of kindness, which could be as simple as I'm just going to say washing the dishes. There's some other things, obviously, but more (laughs) romantic. But am I in that kind of vein? Oh, you are. Absolutely. And with those small steps, when you when you praise your spouse and you thank them for something that maybe you expected them to do. But if they did it and it was a great gesture, acknowledge it. Everyone responds to praise. And right now that helps your focus because whatever your focus is on is what you're going to be attracted to. So having that sense of gratitude will really um, be a boost. Now, can we flip it when you get that compliment or thank you, accept it? (laughs) <laughs> yes, yes. And that, that takes some softness to be able to, to give and receive, for sure. Uh, yeah, I've had times like, thank you for doing that. Well, this is what I normally do. Oh, wait, I should just take it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, you mentioned stay the course. Now, that one, I have no clue. <laughs> well, we're in a bump in the road right now, and this bump is a little bigger than we thought it was going to be, talking about... COVID, quarantine, the whole thing. So the goal is to see beyond, knowing that this is not permanent. This is not where we are stuck forever. Remind yourself of some goals. Remind yourself of some dreams that you have. And that keeps you future focused. It also reduces your anxiety because you're picturing each other in the same future together. So in essence... Keep an eye on the big picture and the long game, even though we want to be in the moment. Don't just take this moment as the end all be all. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, every time I talk to you, I'm taking notes. Believe you me. So if people (laughs) want to get those notes on their own, where do they find your website? Sure. I'm at marywhitmanortiz.com. Awesome. Well, thank you for that information. And hopefully uh, these couples out here... They take their own notes. There you go. Turning off pleasant, dry here through your Monday, but clouds will continue to build throughout the afternoon.